Sa pagkakadawit ni Hubert Webb sa malagim na Visconde Massacre noong taong 1991, mistulang bumaliktan ang buhay ng pamilya Webb. Pero sa labing limang taong pagkakakulong niya, hindi nawala sa kanyang tabi ang kanyang pamilya, lalong-lalong na ang kanyang amang si Freddie Webb. Ngayong gabi, makalipas ang isa't kalahating taon ng pagkakalaya niya, silipin natin ang bahay at bagong buhay ni Hubert at Freddie Webb dito sa Powerhouse. Hi. Um, for the past uh, six, eight months, uh, nagbabike ako dito. I try to avoid yung ano, pollution here. The air is so clean, napakalinis. Ah. May tubig dyan, maraming halaman, walang masyadong ingay, at ano, at uh, perfect spot for, ano, for exercise. Uh, this is parang, I do this as a cardio exercise. I gotta do my little workout here so I'm gonna go over there and go around I'll see you bye bye Larawan ng isang amang wala nang mahihiling pa si Freddie Webb naging matagumpay siya sa mga pinasok na karera Mapa, basketball, showbiz, o politika man. Senator, thank you so much for accepting our request. Thank you. Salamat for coming to us. Dito pa lang, may tanong na ako eh. Go ahead. Ano ho yung bisikleta ngayon doon sa inyong foyer? It's not supposed to be there, but you know, I'm going to... But what is it? It's a racer. It's yours? What's yours? Yes, so, rinigalo sa akin ng Pasko ng aking mga anak. Oh! Kasi I do some bicycle exercises doon sa labas. Ah, sa inyo pala yan ah? Yes, ma'am. Beautiful house. Wow, I see that painting. It's by? Mang Cesar Ligaspi. Cesar Ligaspi. Meron bang special meaning yung mga kabakabay? Pansin ko, daming kabayo eh. <laughs> year of the Is horse it? ako eh. Oh, because it's year uh, of the horse. Actually, it was, this was my idea. No? Sabi ko kay Mang Cesar, Mang Cesar, gusto ko kaman mo ko ng ano, ano, mga a couple of horses na ah. tumatakbo near the water. Near the water. And then water. you have a guy that's you know, trying to stop them and all of that ah. stuff. And it came ah. up. It looks ah. okay. It's beautiful. Of course. Sa koleksyon ng painting ni Freddie, ang kanyang paborito ay isang painting ng kanyang first love, ang basketball. And that's oh. another one of a Mancesar, which oh. is uh, very close to my heart because uh, it, uh, it's, it's a, a basketball painting of basketball. Player. Sabi sa akin ni Mancesar, ano gusto mo? Sabi ko, gusto ko yung sumusyot. Tapos meron sumusapalpal. No? Yung oh, sapalpal. Yung, alam mo na yung... Yes, 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 yes. Of course, of Trying course. Trying to block yes, the yes, shot. Yes, yes, yes. That's what it is. That painting over there, which is far from where we are right now, mm -hmm. that's a, that's a uh, Glen Bautista. No? Glen Bautista. Uh, it, it's not really a painting, it's a, a picture na ginagawa niya. Oh. He's famous for that. Mahilig daw si Freddy magpunta sa antique shops at mga jar ang isa sa kanyang mga unang tinitignan. This is your ito, 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 Mel. Um, that's the jar? It's supposed to be a, a Maria. It's supposed to I'm not sure now, di ba? Uh -huh. When we got that, uh, we figured that it's a Japanese uh, um, jar. And sometimes you buy things, di ba? Hindi mo naman... Nagandahan ka lang, eh. Nagandahan ka lang, oh. Hindi mo naman alam na baka yung pala, eh, maganda rin pala ang value. Oh, so, oh, okay, okay. If you can have the best of both worlds when you buy things, why not, di ba? Oh, oh, oh. Iba na raw nakakasiguro, kaya ang antique jar collection ni Freddy, kinukuha pa raw niya ng certification sa Philippine Cultural Commission. This, this is yun, talagang antique jar. Kasi talagang kumuha ko ng certification. Okay. Uh, ikaw mismo? Yes. That's your interest? Well, before before I bought it. Kasi marami mag-offer sa'yo, antique, antique, oh, di ba? How will you know, oh, di ba? Look at this. Oh. This is, this is perfect for me. Yes, I had to come course. back for it when I saw it in a duty-free shop um, because <laughs> it's basketball and it has my number. No, number 14. Number 14 ako ng araw. Nasa kuleyo pa lamang si Freddy 
na magsimula siyang maglaro ng basketball para sa kanyang alma mater na Colegio de San Juan de Letran. At dahil sa kanyang talento, napabilang siya sa hanay ng mga PBA superstars noong 1970s. Nakilala siya sa galing niya sa open court at fast breaks. Maraming liado pieces ang makikita rito sa sala. Ang liado ay isang sikat na kumpanya sa Espanya na gumagawa ng porcelain figurines. That, that's why it's also a liado. Ah, oh. liado ba ito? Yes. So, Senator, ito from your travels, I'm sure. Yes. From what country? I don't know if I remember correctly, Turkey, you know? Turkey, When we too. travel there, alam mo naman ang wife ko, lahat ng simbahan, pinupuntahan. My wife goes to church every day, Ay, every ka afternoon. Talaga nga ang swerte ka. Ha? Ah? Sabi mo nga, you are so lucky with your wife. Yeah. Um, <laughs> kasi yung, kung ano man yung little uh, sins that I have, eh, napapatawa ka. Madahal <laughs> <laughs> sa kanya. Madahal sa kanya. Yung ba may significance, Senator? Oh, uh, well, um, Iba, para... Oh, parang ano eh, if I, if, I, if I remember correctly, parang binigay ni uh, Father Sani Ramirez sa, sa wife ko. That room looks, wow, the view is fantastic. Sa kwarto ito. Your office? Is it a working, no, working room? That's the majong room. Ay, sa majong room! Oh, <laughs> Kung nagmamajong ka, maglaro ka dyan. That's right! Ngayon ko lang napansin, majong table nga pala yun. Olympia ng asawa ko pagdating sa majong. Ah, Olympia pa, My wife used to. Oh, your wife uh -oh. used to play the piano? Yeah, uh, and uh, after a while, uh, you know, she gave up on it. So, <laughs> this, is, this is an old one. Ano pa ito? 70s pa yung piano na yan. Ano nga, antique yeah. piano? It's an old one. Malalim ang papel na ginampanan ng musika sa relasyon na mag-asawang Freddie at Elizabeth Webb dahil daw dito kung kaya sila unang nagkakilala. O oh, sige, how did you meet your wife? <laughs> Anong araw, meron akong combo. Combo nung araw ang tawag, band, no? Oh, hindi banda. Oh, ganyan bande. Oh, combo. combo, okay. We yung guitarist, lead, yung bass, yung rhythm, at ako yung drummer. We got this invitation. I can't remember how. May party raw sa, ano, sa Urdaneta Village. Mm -hmm. At sabi, kailangan daw ng combo. Taas kagad ang kamay namin, ba? Hindi na kami nagtatanong ng presyo kung mm -hmm. ano iabot mo. Happy oh, na kami, yeah, di ba? Yeah. And lo and behold, eh, yung palay uh, dibo ng aking future wife. Ah! Pero hindi mo, hindi mo pa siya kilala noon. That was the first time you the saw first her. Time. The first okay. time I saw her. Noong gabing yun, uh, meron na bang ano, may communication na between the two of you? Wala pa? Um, How did you pursue her in short? No, kasi nagdadram, siyempre break kami. No? Eh, yun, siyempre, ang dami niya mga bisibisita, di ba? So, sumingit lang ako, di ba? Sabi ko, uh, 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 akin yung combo na yan. Sabi ah, ko ganyan, di ba? Ay, pakilala ka. Uh, you went um, up to her. Where, where do you go to school? Ah! <laughs> The usual pick-up lines. Kami sa Saint Paul's. Sabi ko, alam mo, ay ano? Sabi ko, I play basketball. Sabi ko, can I invite or can I visit you? You know, before our practice. Ano oras balabas mo? Kino kani schedule? Ayo. Dun na nagumpisa in a span of eight months. Ay ano na kami? Boyfriend, girlfriend, and we planned already to get married. Wow, you planned to get married? Mabilis ba yon? Am bilis, eight months. Kinasa si na Freddie at Elizabeth taong 1964 at dahil kapwa bata pa, aminado si Freddie na hindi naging madali para sa kanilang dalawa ang pagsisimula ng kanilang pamilya. You married very young with your wife. Yes. No? You were in your early 20s, 21. Yes, uh, hard, hardly hit my 21. Yes. 20 ako nung lang. Yes. yes, and your wife was in her teens. Yes, 19. Yes, bihira, Senator, ang, ang tumatagal ng ganito. Especially considering, whoa, you were a uh, matinee idol, diba? basketball player and all of this, and the wife belongs to a prominent family, mm -hmm. beautiful and tall and all of this. Uh, ano yun, Senator? Ano ba yun that has kept your relationship uh, on or going up to, this, up to this time? Despite those factors uh -huh. no, that, you know, yeah. was not... Uh, was not conducive to such a happy relationship. Ang I have to be honest, no. Ang talaga nagdala niyan yung yung wife ko. A the wife. Nagchaga siya sa akin eh. Ay nagchaga. Nagchaga. No 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 no. Yes, nagchaga. And she wasn't wrong, no? Na nagchaga siya sa inyo, no? 
I, she, I, I, she has to do the scorecard. Yeah. Hindi magagaling sa akin yun eh, di ba? <laughs> At dahil pinili na mag-asawa na maging independent mula sa kanilang mga magulang, kayod kalabaw daw itong si Freddy para lang matustusan ang lahat ng pangailangan ng batang pamilya. You were a student this time? Student, Estudyante pa kayo? Yes, you know, I was studying, playing and working. Ah, Hirap. Talaga. Hirap talaga. Ubus ang oras ko. Ang dami kong pinagtrabahuan. Ang dami. Like, At, uh, nagtrabaho ko sa pier, sa seasides. I sold in encyclopedias. So I, worked, I worked sa stock exchange as a, ah, as a broker. Ah, really? And then, ito na talaga yung some of my uh, source of income at that time. And, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm proud to say, you know, huh? this is hard work. No? I would go to, to, to Clark, I would go to Subic with my wife, yeah. and then uh, bibili kami ng gamit doon. Yeah. Tapos, like, refrigerators, bibili kami ng mga oven, okay. kuminsa ang kotse, okay. tapos ibabay and sell namin. So you're saying here, uh, nung umpisa, you and uh, Mrs. Webb were a regular family, regular couple, na talagang you eked out a living for the children. Yes. Diba? yes. It were not as if na everything was on a silver platter. That's right. Talagang tinrabaho niyo talaga Tinrabaw. mag-asawa. Well, I tell you, the hard times are the good times. Really? Yeah, the hard times. Why do you say that? Because you learn a lot and you learn to, to realize that, you know, this work that you poured into, you sweat, blood, and tears na inubos mo dyan, yeah. ay talagang kailangan pangalagaan. Uh -huh. At yung mahirap eh, mahirap yung darating sa iyo yung, yung biyaya ng hindi mo pinagtrabahuan dahil baka yan ay tangan mo ngayon, bukas mawala. Uh -huh. Yes, that's right. Nagbunga naman daw ang lahat ng sakripisyo ng mag-asawa. Ngayon, ang kanilang anim na anak ay may kanya-kanya ng pamilya. Sumunod sa yapak ng ama bilang isang basketball player at public servant, si Jason. Si Pinky naman ay isang kilalang mamahayag sa telebisyon. Si Fritz at Maribeth, kapwa may business, at si Michael ay matagumpay din sa napiling buhay sa Amerika. Ang 360 square meters condominium unit na ito ang nagsisilbing tahanan ng pamilya web sa nakaraang labing pitong taon. Apat ang kwarto rito at isa sa mga ito ang ikamamangha ng kahit na sino. Oh God, this looks like a shop. A parang Oh. Daang daang laruan na karamihan ay mga Star Wars. Matchbox cars ang laman ng kwartong ito. At hindi ito pagmamay-ari ng kanyang mga apo. Kay Freddy mismo ang lahat ng mga laruang ito. Nagtsaga ako. Yung, ano, I bought it konti-konti wow. and then when I had it, I built this already. I, I'm a Star Wars fan. This? Ah, you are? Oh, kasi I know, I know how Star Wars started. Eh? They, they showed it in a movie house uh -oh. and they were thinking that, you know, meron na mga ilang taong pumasok, happy na tayo. So they took a hidden camera. Okay. Nakatago sa first showing ng Star Wars. Okay. And people were raving, jumping, and everything. Sabi nila, bingo! Sabi nila, galing! So, Star Wars had three, four, five, six movies already. Ang lumang gas tank na ito raw, ang pinakapaborito ni Freddy sa kanyang mga laruan. Ito rin ang pinakamahal sa lahat na nabili niya sa isang auction sa Amerika. So, how often do you come here? Like three, four times a week. Like every other day, I would, I'll just sit down here. Lay down here, you know, and and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy all of this stuff. What ito? happiness does ito? it give you, Senator? My, your toy room. I, 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 I go back to my years. You Para akong bata, pag nandito ako, really? di ba? Eh, hindi man lang binubuksan pa yata, eh. Hindi dapat, eh. Hindi dapat? When you open this, it loses its value. Yun lang, ma yun lang malukot ang ano, eh, karton, eh. Bumababa na yung presyo, eh. Ape, eh, paano yan? Tinitignan-tignan nyo lang ganyan. <laughs> yung, yung ano ba yung titignan-tignan lang ganyan? Oo, oh, yung apo oh ko, yung pupunta yun dito. Lolo, um, can, I, can I see the Star Wars? Sabi ko, okay. Tapos ah. ladating siya, di ba? Pupunin niya kahit na sino dito. Iba-iba yan. Oh. Tapos gaganunin niya. Ano Sabi niya, can, can I open? Yeah. No, no, no. Ganun lang ganun siya. Oh. Gigil na gigil. Gigil na gigil na siya. <laughs> 
Biyayaan si Freddy ng sampung apo at ang kanyang mga apo kay Fritz ang madalas dumalo sa kanya rito sa kanyang bahay. My lola is very generous because um, he always he always shares his things with us and he always brings me to basketball games every Sunday. My lola is very caring because he always takes care of me. He makes sure he makes sure that I eat a lot and I brush my teeth every time after I. My Lolo is very loving because every time I go to his house, he always like gets me and hugs me tight, and I say Lolo. I'm really squish, and he's like, um, he always kisses me and stuff. I love you, Freddy. Sunod ay pinakita sa akin ni Freddy ang kanyang dining room. Tampok dito siyempre ang kanyang eight-seater dining table. Dito rin makikita ang isa pa sa kanyang mga pinagkakaingatang koleksyon. Yung mga plates niya. Yun, sa'yo yan? You yes. like collecting uh, those things? Kasi pag mayroon ako konti pera, mahilig ako bumili ng mga ganyan. Really? Basta bili lang ng bili and then oh, it comes out there. Yeah. Beautiful. Yes. No, I was about to ask kung sino-sino na yung mga bigating mga tao na nakaupo sa dining ano ninyo at that time? You know, when I was when I was in the Senate, so almost a lot of the senators have gone here also for one way or another, or even some of the presidents na nagpunta din dito na you know, pag birthday mo pumupunta naman na. Dito na dito dito sa condominium. Do you like entertaining, Senator? Nah. No. I just you're talking about the jukebox. That's a repro, ah. Oh, ah, ah, repro. Oh, it's a world it's here, but it's a repro. You want to watch the ano? The view of from here. What? My view from the kitchen. I my view from the kitchen. This is my best part. Every time I eat, this is my best part. Because the I, you know, while eating, I can see the water. I see. By the way, Mel, do you see those trees out there? Yes. Talisa yan ano? Me and my wife, we planted it twelve years ago. What do you mean you planted it twelve? Come here. Kayo nagtanim niyang mga puno na yan? Yung naunang puno na yan? Lahat yan from here to there. How many? Siguro mga 250. 250 trees? Fantastic! And what motivated you to do that? Siguro, you know, knowing that we were going to stay here for long and we were thinking that, you know, how do you help the environment? Plant trees, di ba? So nagtanim kami, nagtsaga kami. Umani naman, tinamong. Kahit napapan. Could you imagine how this will look without those trees? You know, now everybody can go there, you know, yung mga homeowners, they stay under those trees, be picnic and all of that stuff. Oo nga, how nice. Beautiful. Lumipat si na Freddy sa bahay na ito mula sa dating bahay nila sa Paranaque para mas mapalapit sila sa New Bilibid Prison kung saan nakakulong noon si Hubert. Kaya paglaya ni Hubert taong 2010, unang pagkakataon niyang tumapak sa tahanan ito. How did that feel coming back home to your... The first day when you came home? First night, stiff neck. Yay! Ha? First night, stiff neck. Why? Lambot ng kama. Ha! Totoo yan. Talaga, nasanay ka sa... First night, sanay siya sa plywood. Sa plywood ba? Kinutulugan ka sa... Stiff neck talaga. You're kidding. Yeah, first two nights. But now, okay na. Isa sa pinaka-kontrobersyal na kaso na gumimbal sa bansa ang Visconde Massacre. Taong 1991, nang natagpo ang patay ang magiinang Visconde sa kanilang bahay. Taong 1995, lumabas si Jessica Alfaro at itinuro si Hubert bilang isa sa mga pasimuno ng karumaldumal na krimen. Pagamat nahatulan ng guilty at nakulong noong 1995, nakalaya rin si Hubert noong 2010 matapos ang labing limang taon ng ipawalang sala ng Korte Suprema. Kasi ako, sinun sinundan ko yung kaso mo eh. No? Uh, nung na napawalan sala ka na nga, andi dyan na, no? One big question remains in my mind eh. Na baka naman nung nandudong ka sa loob eh, na pag nilay-nilayan mo, no? no? Ano sa tingin mo? Kahit speculation lang, a far speculation, no? Very remote. 
Pero ano sa tansya mo ang nangyari nung gabi niyo? Sa tansya mo, bakit? At bakit ikaw idiniin? There must be a motive to all of this. Hindi naman basta... Why? Why? I really have no idea. Kasi I've never met Jessica. I've never met Miss Carmena, nor the mom. So I... You know, like I said before, when this first came out when we were in the States, I was laughing about it. I thought it was so funny that they're blaming me for something that I wasn't even here. Yeah. yeah. So until it became serious at one point, then when I went back, it would, because it was a trend. Eh? It would come in, go out, uh -huh. come in, go. It wasn't nonstop uh -huh. until finally '95. It, it came out, and we were very optimistic about the entire thing. Finally, we can put closure to this and. Uh -huh make people aware what's really happened because as far as we knew, millions of Filipinos were being fooled. Mm -hmm. So we were ready for it. I anticipated the jail time, but we did never anticipate it would take 15 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They were courageous enough to face it. In fact, you know, people were making it seem that we were caught. We were, you know, of course not. Mm -hmm. We took our, we picked our own time when we surrendered. We, we chose our destination. They didn't know where I was and we surrendered because we just, wanted to make sure that when I went in, we were finalizing how we were going to defend mm -hmm. defend the case. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And we were just surprised that it took 15 years. How did that change you as a father, the head of your family? At that time, you were still a senator, right? Yes, you were still in the Senate. How did that hit you, your life? Honestly, yes. I don't know. I was, uh, I was mad. You were angry. Yeah, ano ako, ako oh. Dahil uh, I always connect something. Ang hirap pala maapi eh. Mm -hmm. Mahirap. Mm -hmm. Mahirap maapi. Um, uh, nagiging ano ka. Um, uh, gusto mong, yung galit mo, maliit na bagay lang, gusto mong magalit ka agad, di ba? But uh, when, I, when I met uh, Teddy Benigno, mm -hmm. um, uh, he became my, my shield, my protector. Uh, she became my advisor. Every time I had this pain, this anger in my heart, I would call him up. Really? And then he would tell me, Ferry, sabi niya ganyan, there are more people in that have situations? bigger problems okay. than you. Mm -mm. Sabi niya, you're lucky your son is still alive. And don't worry, sabi niya. I was surprised, alam mo sinabi niya? He might not be able to come out in my lifetime, but he will get out of jail. Could you imagine saying that? Ganun nga nangyari. Napakalaking pagsubok ang pinagdaanan ng pamilya Webb. Ngunit isinasantabi na lamang nila ang mga mapait at malulungkot na alaala at piniling mas pahalagahan ang bagong buhay nila ngayon. Dalawamput-anim na taong gulang si Hubert nang madawit siya sa kaso ng Visconde Massacre at kung noong unay pinagtawanan lang niya ito, hindi niya inakalang na nakawin ito ang labing limang taon ng kanyang buhay. But Hubert, how did you get along with, with these people o yung mga kasamahan mo sa loob ng, ng preso? Ilang kayo sa inyong selda? How many were you? About 105. Di sa isang ano selda? Sa isang ganun? One hundred, per, 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 per tawag? brigada kami per, like a warehouse style of ano, and then ah. there's about a hundred of you stacked there and ah. do what you want. Sa isang kwarto? Isang malaking kwarto? It's like a small warehouse, like a small warehouse. A small warehouse, one hundred you know, kayo Yeah, yung iba is bigger, yung kanila. Yung amin kasi was smaller eh. Okay. So then you're padlocked at ano. And then uh -oh. getting along with people actually wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Talaga? Yeah. Because? Well, we have a law and a system there kasi, so it's easy, you just follow the rules and you're good. Uh oh. Uh, it's, I mean, aside from the normal mistakes, but as long as you follow the rules inside the dorm, mm -mm. It's, 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 it does, it's a system that works for prisoners or mm -mm, prisons. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. So Did you I, make any special friends yeah, inside? Yeah, I, I have some. I still talk to the okay. girlfriend of my friend who's there. Pag sinabing maximum Hubert, pardon my ignorance, Ah, uh, yung ibang kasamahan mo doon. Anong mga cases 'yan? Pag sinabing uh, maximum kidnapping, murder, rape, all the heavy cases, ah. all the heavy lines for life sentences. Okay. Ah. Hindi ka natakot just that thought na ang mga kasamahan mo doon ay mga 
going there, syempre, first few days. First few and, days. And then after a while, kasi me, um, I had a lot of anger kasi, so, oh. because the wiper a lot. I'm not going to be a hypocrite, but when you're in, in, in thrown in a situation where oh. you know you shouldn't be there, yes. and then you have people parang picking on you, yes. that becomes a problem. Oh. So I try to make sure it doesn't happen. But other than that, my dad's met oh, really? some of them. They're very humble. They're very, they're very nice. They're never rude to anybody there. Sa mga panahong iyon, tila hindi lang si Hubert ang nakapiit sa kulungan. Dinamayan siya ng kanyang pamilya at napakalaki ang isinakripisyo nila para sa kanya. Linggo-linggo nilang dinadalaw si Hubert at halos lahat ng mga espesyal na okasyon ay doon na nila sa kulungan ipinagdiriwang. Every Sunday kasi hindi na mag- We never, Lumadabi never miss. Lang. Never miss. Sometimes, one weekday like Wednesday, pupunta kami. Pagkakailangan niya ng pagkain pa kasi nagdadala na kami ng ano eh. Cooler. Hindi, <laughs> cooler. Karga-karga na. karga namin uh-huh. yung cooler na malaki. May yelo na doon, meron na siyang bacon. Kasi so it's, it's a party every Sunday? Sa preso? Yes. Yeah. Also for me, you know, inaantay ko. Inaantay mo talaga, you look forward to Sunday. Ang dami-dami namin dalang pagkain. Bata kasi naman ang gusto namin. Ang mo dyan, yung pala pinamibigay. So parati kang humihiling pala, maraming maraming pagkain. Kasi papamigay mo lang doon sa mga kasamahan mo. <laughs> Ganun ba? Ang <laughs> gastos mo. Doon kasi tita, that's the best gift you can give them, food. Food, oh. And clothing, I think that's her number one and two. Food and clothing. Oh. Uh, aside from the Bible 3, siguro na, na, nasa order na lang yun. Alam mo di ba? Yun ang pinaka-basic necessities talaga. Food, clothing, and uh, spiritual help. So, uh, the experience, masasabi niyo ba, Senator, that this has made you a better person? Itong pangyayari kay Hubert? Family-wise, yes. Family-wise, yes. meaning? Yes. Meaning, you know, um, uh, we never even pray when we eat and all of that stuff. We oh. never even thank God. This guy, you know, when we go there, Sasabihin niya sa amin, alam mo dad, napakaswerte ko. Sabi niya sa amin, napakaswerte ko. Sabi ko, bakit? Sabi niya, tingnan mo naman ang pagkain na nadadala niyo sa akin. Masarap. Eh, ilang masarap. dito. Oh. Alos hindi na makakain. In the middle of the night, somebody will call us up that we have to rush to see him because he's having a hard time breathing. Kasi meron niya... Ano, Ay, yung ano, skin asthma? Hindi na, no, bronchial. Bronchial? Pati bronchial? Oo, Both? Malakas oh, wow. yung bronchial niyan. Oh. Ano? So we would rush there, daladala namin ng doktor. Mm-hmm. Minsan, 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. Alam mo, meron na kaming, ano eh, phobia, takot na kami. Basta mm-hmm. nag-ring yung phone, kami, mag-asawa. Oh. You know, yung kagad ang papasok si Hubert. Mm-hmm. You know, anything can happen. You know, sure. you are in jail sure. with 10,000 of you out there, and you're sleeping with some people that you don't even know mm-hmm. that while you're sleeping, <clears throat> somebody would just stab you. Doon. Tapos ka na. Oh. You're done. You're oh. finished. Di ba? So it's always like, prayers every night na talagang sana keep him keep him safe yeah, from harm. Yeah, yeah. Dahil nakakatakot yun eh. You know? Every time I'd go out of uh, on the way out from jail, this thing I never I never forget to do. I will look up. I talk to them. Uh-huh. Kailan ba titigil itong paglakad namin palabas? Uh-huh. Mahirap mang magsimula ulit sa edad niyang 44. Ito ang unti-unting ginagawa ni Hubert sa kanyang buhay ngayon. Hubert, it's been more than a year now. Yes. Yes. Uh, ano na? Uh, have you taken your bearings? Are you... Ano, normal na ba? Normal na ba? O merong pang kulang? Merong ka pang gustong gawin para maging normal? How would you describe life now? After 15 years, no? In jail. Uh, as you know, I've been going to school. And Are you back at school? Yeah, I studied, I studied to be a mechanic so that I have a skill. Oh, so, uh, anong kinukuha mo? Mechanical engineering? No, just a mechanic talaga. Mechanic talaga yeah, na kukunche? Yeah. 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 Oh. So just that I have a skill lang. Okay. So that, you know, and um, now the pressure is, okay, now I have a skill. What do I do now? <laughs> of course, I'm not gonna want to be a mechanic, right? I just uh, okay, studied. For, at my age, kasi it's kind of gonna be hard to, you know, I just studied it for a skill, so if in case I wanna open up one or the opportunity arises that you know I have something to offer, you know, I'm not just gonna go and say, "Sabi ni Narchan, kano ba yung gawin?" Because 
it's uh, it's really slow at this point. Mm -hmm. Of course, uh, again, I'm thankful that I'm out, diba? It doesn't mean that I don't have enough problems now, so it's just different. Yes. So it's like finding your corner in the sky. So right you know, now, yes. Right. Find, find my niche, yes. Kasi 15 right. years yung nawala, hindi lang na, no? Parang naputol ganun, eh, no? And yeah. then you need to find, to, to look for it. No? Meron ka palang anak, you know? Yes, yes. You He's now 18 years old. 18 years yes. old? Yeah. So how did, how did you catch up with the boy? Uh, right now, he's here. He's here, oh. he's spending summer with So him. more effort ba? You work? Actually, yeah, mas laki years? mabait yung anak ko eh. Mas okay. hindi siya naman na parang si Nino. Really? So on that part, eh, John, John Lucky, okay, hindi, uh -huh. hindi, hindi ako nasa-stress sa kanya. Siyempre, you also want to end up with a, you know, a woman like your mom. Meron na. Ah, meron na? Meron na. Swerte na. Ang bilis naman din ito. Eh, pero eight months ka, sir, uh, panalo ka sa anak mo. Hindi, <laughs> Eight <laughs> months na lang eh. Ito. Ha? My, my dad has, ano nga, fast, fast break Freddy, yung ano niya, yung... When he was playing Kaya nga eh, ball. ikaw matagal. Hmm? Kasi one, ilang, one year and a few months ka pa lang naman out of jail eh, di ba? So you found someone right away? Yeah. After you, ano, you were We've released? known each other for some time now. Kasi ah, matagal Before, yes. Yeah. Since 2000 ba? Oh, since 2000 pa? Yes. At tapos when you were, you came out. So then kind of, we started to get to know each other uh -huh. better. Then it's hard because let's go give a try. And she agreed. And then still, the excuse me, so the story began. I heard you once said that the biggest change in you is that spiritually, it, spiritual, I grew, the yes. spiritual. I'm not you know, going to say that I'm a much greater person, but I knew I got better uh -huh. from when I was before. I uh say. -huh. Nothing teaches to be closer to God when you're, except when you're in despair. Yes. Kasi in despair, you pray more eh. Yes. Hindi naman so, tayo, ano. Walang ibang yes, no one to turn to. Ka, yes. Totoo yun. But at the end of the line, well, there is a God. There yes. is a God. Really? Believe me, there is a God. And whoever will try to punish you for something that you have not done, time will come when they will realize that they are, they are wrong and then hopefully that they would um, do it again. Sana wag nilang gawin ulit sa ibang tao. Mahirap. Yes. In my opinion, what I can say is, um, we're not happy about the incident. We're happy about the results. Mm -hmm. Well said. Yeah. Have you ever come, you know, face to face with Mr. Visconti? Only my dad. Ah, ikaw na nagka face to face na kayo. Hindi naman in one of the programs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And how was it? How was that? What do you tell someone who is so convinced that your son did something wrong when you know very well that he couldn't have done it because he was not present at the crime scene? What do I tell him? Diba? So, wala I, I disregard him because I don't even want to try to talk to him because anything goes, you know, mga sabihin niya, nakikipag-ayos ako, all of that stuff. So, the best thing is really to avoid. But I wish, I wish him well. But now that it's over, Kung makita mo si Mr. Visconde, ano? How would you approach him? How would you, what would you tell him? Um, you know, uh, for me, God knows one thing to be true. I have forgiven him. So, I don't think there's anything more for me to tell him. Kasi importante naman. Wala ako sa kanyang... I'm sure siya meron sa akin because he up to now, I think he still believes I did. And I cannot blame him because it must be horrible to lose people from your family, the people you love. So we don't know what he's going through or how he's, it's affected his mind and so forth and so forth. But as far as we know and as far as God knows, we weren't here when it happened. So it has absolutely nothing to do with us. So yung sa akin yung importante lang, yung kay Jessica, napatawag ko na siya, yung kay Mr. Visconti, napatawag ko na siya. Para ako, if something happens to me, I know I have a better chance of reaching my destination. Hindi na raw dapat pang iyakan ang labing limang taong ipinamalagi ni Hubert sa loob ng piitan. Naging mahirap man ang naturang karanasan, nakatulong naman daw upang siya'y maging mas mabuting tao at maging mas malapit sa Diyos. Isang bagay na sa kabila daw ng lahat ay dapat daw ipagpasalamat. Ako po si Mel Tianco hanggang sa susunod na Martes. Samahan niyo po akong silipi ng bahay at buhay ng mga tao na bibilang dito sa Powerhouse.